Hi. There are many entrepreneurs who have used Copernicus data and services in an innovative way. In this video, you'll see the example of Building Radar, who has used Sentinel satellite imagery to give their customers information that they can use to steer their sales. Building Radar is currently a company in the Business Incubation Center of the European Space Agency in Bavaria, in Germany. They won the ESA App Camp in 2015 and were also the overall winners of the Copernicus Masters in the same year. The competitions from ESA and Copernicus gave them a boost to grow their company, but that is not where they started. It began with a group of German students and a construction sales consultant, who together found a solution to research construction sites for new buildings. It took them a year to develop their first product, a way to automatically detect a new construction site. They then found additional investment through the University of the Students, and following that, they won several awards, amongst others those of the ESA App Camp and the Copernicus Masters. That, in turn, won them even more financial and other support. They are planning on opening an office in Silicon Valley in 2017. They have grown their initial product that detected new building projects, to a database of new and ongoing construction projects worldwide. They use Sentinel-2 satellite images from the optical Sentinel satellite with machine learning and data mining techniques to identify new building projects, which is very useful for their clients who are construction supply companies who can use it to direct their sales of concrete, wood and other supplies to the correct sites. Their database contains a lot of information on the construction sites and allows analytics of the neighborhood and other statistics. They use satellite imagery to track the progress of construction and alert the user on any changes. And they work with the subscription model of their database. Building Radar uses the full, free and open access to Sentinel-2 images. These satellite images have a resolution of 10 meters, which is high enough to see big construction projects. Similar commercial satellite data or satellite images with a higher resolution can cost a few thousand dollars per image. Using Sentinel-2 makes it much more cost effective to track the progress of construction sites at a global level. Sentinel-2 data are available through the API hub of the Sentinel Scientific Data Hub, so it can be easily integrated into your workflow. We will demonstrate how a Sentinel image can be retrieved in order to follow up the progress of a building site. We've selected the cultural center Stavros Niarchos Foundation in Athens, which was finished in the summer of 2016. There are several ways to download Sentinel-2 images. Through the Sentinel Scientific Data Hub, you can download full images, which are four to six gigabytes, and it can take a long time to download them. They also offer 100 by 100 kilometer tiles, which are only 500 to 700 megabytes and download a lot faster. The Scientific Data Hub also uh, provides, so provides the full images and the tiles. Uh, all the other options only provide the smaller tiles. The USGS Earth Explorer, for example, offers mostly American sat satellite images and datasets, but has recently added Sentinel-2 to their offering. Their interface is easy to use and you can look at the images before downloading. If you're familiar with geographic information system software, the option of going through QGIS can be interesting. A third party plugin called the Semi Automatic Classification plugin offers the possibility to download Sentinel 2 directly into QGIS. And for the developers, Sentinel-2 data are also routinely placed on Amazon Web Services. This video shows how you can find, visualize and download Sentinel-2 from USGS Earth Explorer. So you go to the Earth Explorer, you log in or register, zoom to the area of interest, which is Athens in this case. You then click on the corners of your area of interest and it will draw a polygon on the map. You can then drag the corners to specify the area of interest a little bit more. Specify the time period of interest. Sentinel-2A was only launched on June 23, 2015, so you won't have any images before that. Remember when creating a time series. 
Click on Dataset and look for Sentinel-2 and select it. Click OK when the disclaimer on Sentinel-2 data pops up. Click on Additional Criteria. The most important additional criteria is cloud cover, which can be a big problem in optical images. Only select those images with less than 20% cloud cover. Click on Results. And then when, you, when the results have loaded, click on the little foot to show the footprint of the tile. Click on the Download button and select the Level 1C tile. The full resolution browse GeoTIFF is also very nice and gives an instant true color picture, but it has a resolution of 20 meters, which makes it difficult to see the progress in construction. Click Show Browse Overlay to see the actual image on a map, and then click the download button again. Make sure when you download to select a variety of dates. The earliest one we can choose over Athens is one of July 2015, so one month after the, after the Sentinel-2 launch. This video shows how you can quickly download a time series of satellite um, imagery of a certain tile through Amazon Web Services. The tiles are based on the US military grid. You can download a KML file for Google Earth of the military grid from the Sentinel-2 website. When you zoom into Athens on Google Earth, you find that there are two tiles that cover the area, 35 SKC and 34 SGH. Write that down, you need it for later. Then switch to the Amazon command line interface. And with one command, you can download the entire archive of tile 35 SKC for let's say the year 2015. If you're not sure of the tile number, go back to Google Earth to check again. When you're done downloading the time series, open up a GIS software like QGIS. And to orient ourselves, let's open the OpenStreetMap map. To visualize a satellite image coming from either sources uh, described before, Let's build a true color image. Select band 2, 3 and 4 and give a name to the output. Make sure to select the correct parameters. To make it look better, we have to adjust the style. So band 1 needs to be band 3 and band 3 needs to be band 1. Make sure you do the same for all of your other images in the time series. Once you've done that, you can zoom in to a construction project like the Stavros Niagros Foundation Cultural Center. And this is what it looks like when you have three images spaced over a year, showing the changes going on at the construction site. I hope this gave you some inspiration in how Copernicus can enhance your services. Thank you for watching.